But if you close your eyes Hey guys, so I'm going to an interesting video by Maximus So today we're back with more Injustice Gods Among Us So I just finished recording the Amikami Calvin review So if you guys have not checked it out yet, please do So now I'm going to be doing the Jon Stewart Green Lantern review So First off, some updates. So, of course, all early access packs are in the store. Um, we have the last 7 hours, 45 minutes of the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn challenge. We do have the alien artifact slash mother box in multiplayer for this season for the first time. So, you, you guys can expect a first look video on that the moment the season ends. And also a review um, after that, possibly a week or so after that. And of course, all the Suicide Squad companion cards are still in Survivor Mode until September 16th. So um, that's about 10 days until it rotates out. So if you guys have not got that yet, um, try to be fast. So today we're going to take a look at John Stewart Green Lantern. So in case some of you are wondering why I decided to take a look at such a, um, well, less used character... I did mention when I started this series, I did do Batman Prime and a few other unpopular characters or so-called unpopular characters. And I did say that I'm doing this re these, these reviews because um, like no one else on YouTube or anywhere else does reviews on these lesser characters. So I do want to give them more exposure and just talk a little bit more about them because they can be useful in certain situations. Um, so there we have it. So... First off, let's take a look at support enhancement. So he is a green lantern, so he does have guardians for health as well as lantern drops for damage. Lastly, he has power battery for energy regeneration. So we're first going to take a look at his stats. So he does have 27,000 damage and 60k health. So these stats are, as you guys probably already realized, awful. Um, let's just go to his card and let's compare to other characters around him. Straight away, you can see that there is nobody in his immediate vicinity that has, um, that is, uh, has actually technically, um, Doomsday and Harley do do less damage. So technically, he is a challenge character. So he does have better stats than um, normal gold characters like uh, animated Harley Quinn. But overall, compared to now, uh, um, people like um, uh. Like, Deadshot just destroys him in terms of stats. He has about double damage and a lot more health. Of course, that's a pretty unfair comparison. So, he does have less um, um, damage and health than a lot of people. But he does... His stats is slightly above average from the normal um, goal cards from the goal pack. Since he is a challenge character. So, he is obtainable through the challenge pack. Or if you've completed his challenge long, long time ago. So... Which it which I did not do, so I got him from the challenge pack. So um, there we have it. So um, let's take a look at his um, special. So we have turbine smash for special one, same as the other Green Lanterns. We have parallel nature um, for special two, which does use a lot of constructs from his ring. You guys will see that a little bit later. And beware my power, which is the normal super move for Green Lanterns. So let's take a look at his design and his passive. So he does wear his um, Green Lantern suit, and of course that is Jon Stewart with his glowing green eyes. So I do sort of like this suit. I think it's a pretty cool design with black and green, and with some um, touches of silver slash gray. And I do like the detail. I can see some um, spots of what possibly is blood on his left thigh area, and on his front we can see more of those spots, and we can even see the wear on his costume with all those... Um, cracks or bends uh, yeah so it does look pretty realistic so yeah so let's take a look at his um, passive which is emergency barrier so when Green Lantern or a teammate reaches 20% health a barrier appears making that character invulnerable for four seconds this can occur once per character per match so basically that means for all three of the characters on your team uh, once per match when they go below 20% health um, they will get a um, barrier which is green and hexagonal um, that will make them invulnerable so this barrier will negate any damage from basic attacks specials or even super moves 
So the only two other characters that share this trait is Injustice 2 Superman's passive and the militarized Batmobile um, gear after you activate a super move from Batman. So uh, one thing I would do like to point out is that um, even though you don't take the damage, however, if there is air effect, it will hit your team, such as from the League of Assassins, Knives, and um, Summon Activate Special 1. So you won't take any damage, but your team will, which to me does not really make sense uh, because you don't take the damage to begin with. So yeah, but it does happen. So um, his passive is very, very, very situational and um, it can be useful um, at certain times. Um, for example, it can save your character from being annihilated and you can let them get off a heal possibly from a special or from a combo ender or you can let them even get off a special at the last moment or even you can't heal them or can't get off a special you can at least get in a few free hits before you lose that character because he would be at very low health so he is he can actually be useful um, but not so much nowadays um, last time he was a little bit better nowadays he's just um, a minor annoyance on multiplayer and I speaking of multiplayer I do like to point out that he could potentially um, be useful on multiplayer. So can you imagine a situation where you have John Stewart Greenland on the team and we have like a um, fourth rule Injustice 2 Superman and um, you're just about to um, kill Injustice 2 Superman when they when the bearer appears and he activates two special ones to get himself back up to full health then he tags out. So you're gonna have to deal with him all over again um, just because of John Stewart's emergency barrier. So he can be useful uh, such as in this situation, so don't discount him. So for gear and teammates, honestly, you can put him with anybody. It does not really matter. So as you can see, we just finished that review. So for the video, I'm just going to put in some random characters. Um, let's recharge Animated Harley Quinn for some support. And for some reason, I can't swipe. So let's put him in, and let's just put... Probably we won't use our last character. Let's just, um, I'm gonna put in Red Lantern Hal Jordan. So, gonna recharge Harley Quinn first. And let's go right in here. So, honestly, for gear, you can get out any way you want. He does not have any particular strength or weakness when it comes to um, basics, um, health, damage, or specials. So, anything will do. So, but let's take a look at his character specific gear first, which is. His supercharged green powering. So it does increase his blocking. He has disable um, enemy specials on special 1 and he has 25% to reflect special 2 or blocking. So it is um, a little bit more oriented to um, blocking and um, disable chance on special 1 is not really that useful considering that his special 1 is 1 hit. So it is a raw 25% chance. So, but we're just going to leave it on, I suppose, because um, for the lack of putting anything else on. So, I guess we'll just put on... I don't even know what we should put on. Let's put on the Killer Croc companion card to take less damage um, for more blocking. And let's put on the 4 full chest plate. So, this is a pretty much a... What I would like to call a um, tankier um, build, or we could even put. Um, let's see what what else we could do. So I don't know. If you want, you could put um, some four full pieces for more damage or whatnot. So I don't even know what we should put on. So let's get out of this bell and go back to the beginning of bonus bell 7. So let's jump right in. So he did have a, a resurgence um, when Green Lan Red Lantern Hal Jordan first came out. So yeah. So here is his um, light attack. The normal Green Lantern combo except that he blasts um, a construct out of his arm. So he does really good on blocking and let's check out his special 1. If we can even have the chance to unleash anything. So here's a special one, Turbine Smash, which is the normal special one. So we did get the disabled specials. So here's special two parallel nature. So he first smashes with that. I don't know what that is. 
times two, and then he get gives a few shots from his pistol construct. So there we go. So here's his heavy combo. Um, see if we can get it in. So here we have his heavy combo, the normal Green Lantern heavy combo. So let's get off. All right, actually, let's try to knock out Harley Quinn. But our basics are really doing nothing. So hammer slam connects. Here we can see the emergency barrier, so we can finish her off and get off. And let's. All right, we just got that bang just as we were about to unleash on him with our super move. So that was unfortunate, but we can still unleash the super move with Red Lantern Hal Jordan, which coincidentally does have the pretty much same super move besides having a different color. So here we go, and Joker is not dead yet. So let's finish him off. So here we can see the um, bear up again for Hal Jordan. So there we go. In the next match, we have second test fight. We have um, only special one to use. So let's see what we can do. So um, I think his combo ender does look quite cool. Although it does take some time to activate. Alright, let's get out the turbine smash. Hopefully for another um, special disable. Nope. Uh, get hit by the ultimate lift off, which does do 12,000 damage times 2. There we go. So, there we go. There is this combo, and it looks pretty cool. So, flying punch blocked for about 4k. So, we did get some deflection there. So, as long as you block, he uh, it's actually pretty alright considering our gear setup it is based a lot on blocking. But let's get off another turbine smash, which is pretty much all we can do. So his heavy does pathetic amount of damage considering I did not give him any damage gear. So we're up against a bronze Solomon Grundy now. And he is doing alright. I mean he is a bronze car after all so that's to be expected. And Solomon Grundy eliminated. Superman back in and gets hit with a turbine smash. Disabling his specials. And he gets hit with another turbine smash. So we're down to Doomsday, and we did block countless deaths, so as you can see, as long as we block, we do take a pretty low amount of damage, so we do need that to sustain him, so Evolutionary Rebirth, so, alright, I'm trying to see the barrier, but it did not activate yet, so, alright, let's let the barrier activate, there we go, Emergency Barrier activated. So Doomsday can't even hit us as you guys can see, all of the bear is gone, so the, the duration of it is really really short, 4 seconds is really really short amount of time, let's get in Hal Jordan to finish Doomsday off with a turbine smash of his own. Again, alright so he does have a lot of rebirths, let's get another turbine smash. So. Alright, let's get off a final turbine smash for the victory in the second test fight. Alright, there we go. So, overall you guys can see that it can be useful. You can't imagine situations that it will be useful. Of course, it's really hard to show it on video, but we do have it. Alright, so we're in our third test fight, uh, which I will try to show you the super move. So, alright, Harley gets hit with a hook smash for about 20k. Right, let's do some damage here. Um, hook charge blocked. As you can see, Harley took um, 10k on the hook charge, but this um, John Stewart took a mere 2k because of all that blocking Gary gave him, so that's pretty good. So let's get out the Rage of Atrocitus on Catwoman, and she's not eliminated. So it's got the health boost for a heal. Although that would not heal Hal Jordan. So let's get off another Rage of Atrocitus. Oh, he did get stunned, so let's drain him up. Alright, I forgot he could not be drained. My mistake. So, um, Hal, um, Hal Jordan, I'm sorry. John Stewart is taking really low amounts of damage in this match because they don't want to give. They don't want to tag him in, so let's eliminate Catwoman here. Alright, here we go. Let's check out his super move. So, Beware My Power by John Stewart Green Lantern. Bam. 
There we go. So the only difference between this one and the Red Lantern one is that the background power battery is different and the color, of course, is different. So Game Over Block for a very low amount of damage due to our blocking gear. So you can see blocking gear does do its job really well. So here we go. So this is the victory in the final test fight. So overall, um, I think he is a situational character and he can be useful um, in some situations, but I would not waste a slot on him, especially on multiplayer in uh, favor of a lot of other better characters. So anyways guys, thanks for watching the video and goodbye.